He's looking at me. We are back in Carrera National Park for a second go at it. We loved it so much uh, we had to come back. Uh, there are so many plants here that we didn't even get to cover the last time. So yeah, we're looking forward to just enjoying the day. It's overcast today and a little bit cooler. So should make it a little bit more enjoyable. And we're obviously hoping to see some wildlife as well, which we didn't see the last time. So let's go. Okay, so right at the beginning of the trail, we have these beautiful begonia hirsuta, and these ones here are flowering. So you can see they have these really delicate, tiny, kind of yellowish white colored flowers. This is a beautiful begonia. It kind of has a hairy texture on the leaves, and I just love all the jagged edges. I don't know what this is. It kind of looks like caviar. <laughs> It's very strange. I'm sure you guys have uh seen these in one of our previous uh, videos but the fairy cups I don't know if it's just the time of year but I've been seeing them everywhere and they're so cute I just spotted a little bunch and I just have to show you how cute is that So one of the interesting plants on this trail is the Cafecillo. Uh, I'll put up the uh, scientific name on the screen because uh, I'm gonna butcher it if I try to pronounce it. But this is a plant that's not actually related to coffee at all. It's related to citrus uh, plants, but it's endemic to this region of the Central Pacific. It's only found here, and they're actually doing some research to look into the benefits of this plant. So very interesting. It's throughout the entire trail. Um, This fungus. Ooh, whoa, that's so weird. Looks like chewing gum stuck on the tree. I am gonna have to read about this. We are not experts on fungi or mushrooms and stuff, but this is super interesting. Check yeah. this out. I don't know, but it's really weird. It looks like alien blob. Let's take a photo. begonias here <laughs> so there's these guys wow check out the size of those that is fantastic so the leaves have tiny hairs on the surface this is beautiful I love it and ooh, we have these beautiful yellow syngoniums here on the side and then right across, we have more of these gorgeous begonias and a ton of begonia hirsutas. Just a giant bush of it here. So this is obviously the primary forest, which is why the trees are so huge. And we're right at the intersection where the 
tropical wet forest and the dry forests meet in Costa Rica. So to the north, it's more of a dry forest and to the south from this point, it's more of a wet, humid jungle type of forest. Interesting. Ooh. That's fantastic. Look at those. That is huge. Okay, I'm not gonna touch it, but my hand is right in front of it, just for size reference. These are absolutely beautiful. This is weird. This looks like a like jelly. It looks very sticky and almost translucent. And actually, if we look a little further, there's more of that. It's like slime, literally like slime. It's a very good trip for for mushroom hunting. Look at the colors on that one. This one had a larvae. Ooh, bizarre. This one looks like it's disintegrating and slowly turning to mush. And then these over here are covered in moss. It gives them that beautiful green color. And check it out, all these, what are these? <laughs> Look at this. Look at this, what is this? These little things. How strange. We saw something similar in Bihagual. They remind me of sea coral. You can see those ridges. This one here, it's like a brown orange color. It looks really slimy, almost like it's mush, but it's covering this tree trunk here that has fallen. Hear the howler monkeys? It's a dragon fruit. Dragon fruit. Amazing. Look at the monsteras. Oh yeah, I can see. I can actually see the epiphytic cactus like way up here in the tree. looking at me. Oh, so this is fallen from the tree. This is a tillandsia, so an air plant. And we can see that uh, it's attached its roots onto that branch. Often sun brings out the uh, redder colors and stuff like this. Yeah. This guy might have been higher up in the canopy and obviously the whole branch has dropped in the heavy rains. Yeah, it rained a lot last night. We had some really heavy rains in the area. We need to put him back where he was. Yeah, right Maybe there. Get a little more time. Lots of birds today. They're busy chirping about. Yeah, there we Still go. Still our favorite, the membrana say a beautiful plant. Maybe my favorite yeah. monstera in the wild. It might like be it. my favorite monstera as well. It's really pretty. Another begonia. This might be my favorite one we've seen today on the trail. And it's growing on the side of a tree. Check it out. That begonia is actually 
climbing all the way up <laughs> into that tree. I find this fascinating. I'm used to the idea of begonias being rooted plants that sort of creep along the ground from the root. Um, so uh, I've seen this variety um, climbing on the side of an embankment, but I've never seen it truly be an epiphytic plant climbing on a tree. Look, there's like no foliage along the front. Um, like a truly epiphytic plant, you could see this probably could get um, disconnected and actually continue growing along the tree. Really amazing. Uh, you learn something new every day. I yes. think definitely today I'm going to have to read up a bit about fungi, a little bit more about begonias. Uh, there's a lot to know. Yeah. Yeah, right above you is a monstera. A nice example of one of the leaves. Okay, so this has just fallen from the tree. Check out how big that leaf is. So this is, uh, we're not sure, maybe a dubia? A dubia, perhaps. Beautiful. Oh, there's birds. The birds are having a party. Trail's a little overgrown or some stuff fell last night. Now oh, there's another begonia growing up on the side of a tree here. What do you got here? Okay, I, I believe this is a mature leaf from a Monstera panati partita. And this is really cool because usually they're way up in the trees where I could never reach to take even a photo of the leaves. So this one's fallen and it's obviously dying, but it gives you a really good idea of what they look like, how big they get. Cool, fine. I'm gonna put it back where I found it. Okay, there's a vintage leaf. <laughs> um, well, I'm not close enough to the tree to be able to tell, but my best guess would be that this would be a leaf from a Monstera dubia. Let's check that out. Back side here. Look at this. This is so big. That's amazing. I love it. Fantastic. Another odd mushroom or fungus. So it's just a bunch of dead leaves up in the tree, but <laughs> from afar it looks kind of weird. Like turkey tails. There's another one over here. Pretty cool. Oh, look at this. This is a passion flower. Check it out. 
Okay, so this is probably the first time I've actually seen these in the wild. Um, I know that a lot of people cultivate them, but yeah, beautiful. Check it out. That's an amazing flower. Well, that'll wrap up our hike for today. Thank you so much for joining us here in Carrara National Park. If you enjoyed this kind of content, please hit like and subscribe to our channel. Turn on all the notifications and we'll see you again next time. Thanks for watching. So beautiful.